Visualize 2024 has improved both the performance and also the workflow of creating renders. Now, the first big improvement is with the rendering format, which is now DSPBR. Um, this is designed to attempt to replicate um, industry standards or, or interface with industry standards um, and uh, designed to be really easy and nice to use. So we have a new redesigned library that's available uh, for download straight from the cloud, um, which allows drag and drop of appearances. So I'm just gonna put this appearance onto the wheel here. Um, now the appearances within this library are set into appearance types which only display the appearance uh, settings that are relevant for that appearance type. Um, that doesn't mean that you don't have access to everything. You can always change an appearance to the enterprise uh, shady model and then you can see this scroll bar get much, much shorter and you get access to far more uh, options if you need them. Uh, so you have the simplified functionality when you don't need all the complexity, but you still have access to the full complexity as well. Most often, good renders use textures uh, and in Visualize we can now drag textures in individually and then select the relevant mapping slot um, or we can drag in a group of renders, a, a group of textures and then uh, Visualize will attempt to auto map those to the appropriate uh, texture slot. Um, as we can see here it's put them in, it's put them in under that albedo roughness and normal. Um, we have also got the ability to manually add um, map uh, textures if we want so we can select a texture a mapping slot we can then go and find that texture on our machine and we can import that and we can do that for each slot uh, as as is required um, and along with being able to set up all those texture mappings we have a new improved uh, tint tool this year uh, where we basically select the tints uh, section and drag the dropper out onto our uh, picture, select a color, it will import that and then we've got the standard uh, color control uh, uh, options for live control of, of, that, of that texture. Now, one of the big improvements in 2024 is with the manipulator, which has been totally redesigned. So if we bring that up, first of all, the various elements within it highlight for translate, uh, scale, planar, planar translate, and um, uh, rotate. So you can see scale in a single direction. We also have scale in all directions available directly from the manipulator, which makes it much easier to use. That's a planar translate, and then we're gonna show rotate as well. Now, the manipulator also has some new special features. Now, these are from your keyboard commands. So you can use the G key uh, for uh, linear uh, translate, uh, and then the axis in which you want it to translate, and then you've got the R and E key for uh, rotate and uh, planar translate as well. Um, so you can just select the, uh, press the right key for the right movement, and then you can move it. You also have shift in an axis, so that it doesn't move in that axis. So effectively it's like saying not, uh, and that gives us the planar uh, translate. Um, now if I use the R key for rotate and then choose an axis, and so we're, what we're doing is we're moving our view away from the global normal angles. Now, if I take this component, I can press G to trans translate it, Z and then Z again, and that then means it translates in the local Z axis. So double select of the relevant uh, axis enables translate or the motion in the, in the local axis rather than the global one. So I just return this uh, view back to the full model. Okay. We also said, I said earlier that we'd uh, improve the uh, user interface. So we, this is one example. The wizards have been significantly improved. Uh, they've been cleaned up um, and they've been a lot more drop downs been added. So you can get hold of the things you want much more easily without having a lot of options on the screen. All the functions are still there. We haven't taken anything away from you, but we've just made it a little bit cleaner to, to get hold of things. So we've got quick access to things like configurations and cameras and so on. Uh, you can also define and customize these presets so that they are doing what you want. Now, we also have improved uh, the interactive view. The big improvement here in 2024 is the ability to use an animation you have already created 
as the input for your render so that you're, it's easier to get from what you've done through to what you want as your output. We also can now uh, view those interactive renders directly in the output viewer without having to go and load them somewhere else. And the process for uploading them to 3D Swim has also been improved. Finally, we have a new feature uh, which is Sunlight Study. So first of all, we define which direction uh, our render is looking in. Then finally, we can select a location, or if you happen to know it, you can type in the coordinates. And then you select a time of day, or if you want to do an animation output, you can select a range of times, because who doesn't like watching the sun come up behind a piece of hardware? Um, so this is a lovely new function in order to make it much easier to view and render your components in a really pretty way.